children again welcome back to my tutorial so children i am going to teach you today eighth class chemistry that is the physical and chemical changes so before starting this chapter i want to show you one demo about the physical and chemical changes so children are you ready for that so without wasting time let's start our topic now so now children here i have taken some water and here i have taken some sugar now i am going to mix some sugar in water now i will stir it so after stirring this so now children after stirring this let's see see here you cannot see any sugar particles now i want to taste it ah it's so sweet so so what do you observe from this children is you cannot see the sugar particles also inside the water that also when i taste it it becomes sweet only it is the sweeter taste only means sugar does not change its property as you cannot see the sugar crystals then also the property is remained inside the water now children i am going to show you another one here i have taken a piece of paper and this is the matchstick i want to burn it now see here i am burning now children see here it's almost burnt and what can you observe here children only you are observing here the as means you cannot see the paper here only you are seeing a white color as here so from this to what you understand children here is sugar continuous is sweeter taste in that water as it changes its shape size color everything but here you cannot see the paper everything it has changed and a new substance is formed here that is the white color as if you will take that sugar solution and you heat it again that water will evaporate and you will get that sugar crystals back but here if you want you cannot the get the get back the paper so that is the two types of changes one is called the chemical change and another one is called the physical change so now to know more let's go to the topic so now children from these two experiments what do you understand that all the change of substances undergo mainly two types of change one is the physical change another one is the chemical change now we will read about the properties of the physical change or how can you know that that any changes of physical change or chemical change now let's see the properties of the two changes so children here i have written some examples of the physical change so here as i have shown one example that is the dissolving of sugar in water like this dissolving of common salt in water melting of ice melting of water etc are the examples of the physical change now i will tell you that what are the common properties you will see in this examples that will be the characteristics of your physical change now let's read about that properties so children here i have written its characteristics you see first i have written that it's a temporary change so what do you mean by temporary change children that means in case of sugar solution what happened there that in case of sugar solution you cannot see the sugar means here that wonder its physical conditions changed but there sugar cannot Uh, sugar exhibits its property that is the sweetest property means its internal property whatever the sweeter property or chemical composition it is not changed and why it is called temporary means as i have told you before that if again you will heat that solution you will get the sugar crystals back that's why it is called a temporary change it is not a permanent change here no new substances formed means whatever the sugar maybe you cannot see the crystals then also its composition or its property retained that's why it is called the no new substance that substance only it is there whatever the water and whatever the sugar you have taken and if you will heat you will get the sugar crystals back 
no change of chemical composition as i told means a sugar retains its property means the chemical composition of sugar also it is there if it will change then maybe taste will change as the taste does not change that's why it, there is no change of chemical composition here may or may not change the physical condition here the physical condition changed but in some physical changes are also there where the physical conditions also won't change that time also it is called the physical change and the main part is the it is new for you that no change in energy involved means here you are not giving any type of heat or temperature to um, do a sugar solution that's why or whenever you are doing a sugar solution after doing the sugar solution also no energy is coming out that's why here i have written no change in energy involved means if a change satisfies these conditions then only you can say that physical change occurs so you have to remember the characteristics now children let's write about the definitions of the physical change so children here is the definition that it is a change where no new substance is formed no new substance and the chemical composition of original substance is not changed that is the definition of the physical change means whatever the substance you have taken that substance remained and its chemical composition also same but only maybe its physical conditions will change that is called your physical change so children now go to the next change that is the chemical change so here i have written some examples and one example i have shown you the demo that the burning of paper and second one is the digestion of food then burning of a candle rusting of iron ripening of fruits so like this examples it is the examples of the chemical change so what you have seen that one here in case of burning of paper what you have seen that totally the paper lost its property lost its identity like this everywhere everything in this example all are losing its identity all are losing losing its chemical composition all are losing its properties means here you are getting a new substance that is the main thing of the chemical change means in all these cases you will get a new substance with new form with new chemical composition and along with that some changes of your energy means either temperature you will get or heat you will get or you have to give some heat that is the sign of a chemical change so children now go to the properties of the or characteristics of the chemical change so what you observed in case of the burning of the paper according to that we will write the characteristics that change is permanent and irreversible permanent and irreversible means that you cannot get that paper back it is permanent totally paper lost its property irreversible means you are not getting back new substance with new chemical composition is formed what you got in that case you got a ash white color ash and that totally that ash is the is of the new chemical composition whatever the paper's composition that is totally different from the composition of the ash that's why the ash is the new substance energy is either absorbed or evolved means here you have to give the you have to burn that paper you have to give temperature you have to give heat so that that paper burnt that's why here it is called the energy is absorbed in some cases after chemical change you will get some energy means heat energy will evolve out that is called the evolved i will give you that examples and the main theme is that total mass before reaction and after reaction remain same that is what i have shown you a simple burning of paper but many many chemical reactions are there where you have to take many chemical things 
that time i will tell you that whatever the mass you have taken whatever the substance you have taken what how can you will calculate the total mass of that substance and after the reaction also whatever the new substance you will get how can you calculate the mass of that new substance so that i will tell you but if you will calculate that mass you will see that whatever the mass you have taken the before reaction that is equal to the mass of the substances whatever you are getting after reaction that is called the law of conservation of mass this is known as your what is this one this one is law of conservation law of conservation of mass so these are the characteristics of a chemical chains now i will tell you the definition according to this properties so children this is the definition that it is a permanent change in which a new substance is formed with new chemical composition so you have to write like this for the definition of the chemical chains now children let's recapitulate and write the difference between the physical chain and the chemical chains as you have uh, learnt about the characteristics of the physical and chemical chains according to that we can differentiate that it is the temporary and reversible it is the permanent and irreversible here no new substance is formed here a new substance is formed here the chemical composition and mass of individual substance remain same but here the chemical composition and mass of individual substance changed but you have to remember that total mass remains constant that is the case of the your law of conservation of the mass so the last one is the here you can see that no significant change of energy is involved but here either heat energy is absorbed or evolved so according to this condition that in which reaction the heat energy is absorbed or in which reaction the heat energy is evolved again the chemical change on the basis of this means heat energy is absorption or evolved that vessel based upon this one chemical change is of your two types that is one is your two types you can see that is the one is the exothermic another one is the endothermic it is based upon your what that either heat energy is absorbed or heat energy is evolved so children this is all about today's topic hope you understand see it clearly and properly and by heart this after that only you can uh, learn about the physical and chemical changes the next part i will tell you that what is the exothermic change and what is the endothermic change and i will give some examples of that changes and before that please be prepared for this part properly and before going as i am telling you everything please subscribe like and share my channel so that everyone can take this advantages thank you children for today